everyone. Welcome to this week's episode of Sunday Spin. I'm Laura here as always with Terry, and this is where we take a couple minutes each week and let you guys know what we're spinning. Really quick, we have a cool announcement to make. Um, Big Wig is going to be joining us at this year's Camp Punksylvania in September. They're going to be playing Friday night. We still have another band to announce, but in the meantime, you can head over to our website and snag 30% off your passes if you use code FLAVORICE30. Uh, Terry, who are you spinning this week? Uh, so they're coming right out of Czech Republic, uh, Krang, uh, with Make Arcade Great Again. There was a uh, spam, there was Sound Speed Records, their album is a full length, 12 songs, 22 minutes long, starts off right off the hop, skate punk. Um, it very much follows that European style skate punk, which is a little bit, I find American or Western style skate punk to be just a little touch harder, but this one definitely tends to flow more, especially with the vocals towards the pop side, but don't be mistaken, this is still pretty hard, still pretty fast. Um, starts off with time is ticking, which is about, you know, living your life to the fullest, knowing that time is always going to run, never stop, so make sure you keep living it right to the fullest. Uh, fantastic. I find their lead singer does sound like the lead singer from Mass Intruders, maybe. <laughs> maybe. I don't know, but they definitely do share a similar voice. It kind of had me like, ooh, mm, mm. anyways, and, um, but I found it to be really good. Uh, you know, the, I found this album to be very politically charged. Um, had songs like Make Her Cake Great Again, which was, you know, not taking the time, paying attention to the media, take it, spending time with your family, playing games, enjoying yourselves. Um, also, Melt All the Guns, which is definitely tackling the gun issues that were happening in the States. Uh, I did. I thought they did a great job with it. Um, there's another song on here, which is the Boot Song. It's called Boot Song, and it made me really think of like something the Descendants would have done back in like the '80s, which was kind of like their style of writing at the time. Um, and the song itself is about like it's very much in that love song type writing, something that maybe the Mass Intruders would have done. I don't know. I'm kind of just really, <laughs> <laughs> but. <laughs> Um, I really quite enjoyed it, and I'm usually not drawn to songs like that. Um, I am drawn to Mass Intruder, and I don't know if that's maybe just why. I just can't seem to get it out of my head, and I'm not saying these guys are Mass Intruder. Disclaimer. Line right now. <laughs> Do not, Terry does not think that these guys are Mass Intruder, maybe? I don't know. But, um, or does she? <laughs> um, yeah, but yeah, it's about, you know, trying to woo his lover to come and eat the food in his fridge and stay longer. And then if all the fridge is gone, and it kind of describes what's actually in the fridge. And then if, you know, there's no more fridge, then there's a pizza store right down the street. I thought that was so cute. That melody and song has been like kind of just stuck in my head all week because it's all been spinning. So yeah, make sure you go check them out. Um, there was Spam, there was Sound Speed Records, it's Krang, and Make Arcade Great Again. Laura, what are you spinning this week? This week, I am spinning my favorite punk rock queen, um, Susie Moon, and her debut solo album, call, or EP, I'm sorry, uh, Call the Shots. It, this just came out May 21st on Pirates Press Records. It's fantastic. Um, you can throw it on on your way to work. It's only 10 minutes long, three tracks, but it is fantastic. It's going to blow your mind. Um, it starts with the first one. This came out about a month ago. It was the first single release, um, Special Place in Hell. And the video for this is really beautiful, so you should check that out if you haven't already. But um, I love I love the lyrics to this song and the way that it paints a picture. Susie has a way of kind of getting into character, and I really love the way that it comes through on this first song here. It's a nice way to kind of uh, enter her solo music. You know, you get to see a different side of her a little bit. And me being only 28 years old, I grew up on Susie. Um, I grew up listening to Savette. I grew up on Turbulent Hearts. And now I get to watch this part of her career, which is my favorite. So I'm super stoked about this. Um, my favorite song on this EP is going to be I'm Not a Man. And it is just an abs. Yeah, exactly. It is an absolute ripper. Um, it's catchy. It's fast. The lyrics are awesome excuse my language but it is just another one of those super female anthems um there's a there's an awesome lyric in here it says i'm not a man but i'm a fucking winner and me and my girls yeah we're ready to fight and i am just like oh yes we are you know i can't i can't i can't scream it loud enough when it comes on um and another thing too about this ep is each song has like a really funky and unique different breakdown and they're, they're nice and chunky and really, really fun. This one was my favorite though. Um, there's some keys in here and they come out a lot in that breakdown and it gives me that like that dirty like rock and roll kind of vibe. 
and Susie's that kind of growl in her voice mixed with it, it's it's literally the perfect song. It's fantastic. Um, it comes into the last one on the song on the EP. It's going to be called Nothing to Me, and that one is super catchy too. It's just stuck in your head, and it does it leaves you really wanting more. These three songs are really just an appetizer for for what Susie has in store. Um, I cannot wait. And this is another one too. It has an awesome, like super chunky guitar solo breakdown here. And I, like I said, I just want more from her. I can't wait to hear more. Um, you can pick this up at Pirates Press Records. Check her out and do not miss her Saturday night at Camp Pennsylvania. We are stoked to have her. Uh, Terry, who are you shouting out this week? Um, so this band has yet to release their album. Um, it actually releases on Tuesday. I, got be, I was able to have a little bit of a sneak peek and listen to it. They do have two singles out, X-Ray and War Incorporated. I found these guys to really, um, they're called TV Tragedy. Their album's gonna be called The Fall. It's 15 songs. Um, I really enjoyed it. Uh, it was kind of like a musical grab bag. I don't wanna give away too much because I do want you to go check it out when it does get released. The links are gonna be on the bottom. You can definitely pre-order it. I believe $20, you can get the CD and the shirt. Um, I, I loved it. Um, very hard, very strong. It's that street punk, which I'm a huge fan of. Um, it kind of made me reminded me a lot of like Suicide Machines 15 years ago. Um, had a little bit of that ska, ska element that kind of just like hit in the back and it's kind of like that beat that made you kind of want to dance through some of the songs but very strong. It's very politically charged, um, very much a huge theme. The album's called The Fall for a reason. Their album cover as you can see here is incredibly politically charged. So these guys did a fantastic job. I do recommend you definitely go check it out or at least shouting out this week. We actually have a video this week from our very dear friend in California. Um, one of my favorite current ska bands in the scene right now, and it's going to be half past two, you guys. Um, definitely check them out if you haven't already. Terry and I cannot get enough of them. Uh, we talked about this earlier. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Rainbows, hearts, <laughs> everything wonderful. Already. This band and reminds glitter. us of. Yeah, glitter, sunshine, everything great. If you're in a funky mood, throw on some half past two because they're sure to put a smile on your face. Um, this is their this is a video for their latest single that just came out May 5th. It's called Some Nights and it is fantastic. So definitely stick around for it. And make sure you go give them a follow. They have some new music coming out on Pay Attention Records this October. Um, go buy your tickets to Camp Pennsylvania and we'll see you guys next week.
And is it all just something I've made up inside my head? Mm, I hope it's not cause this is 